Hi, my name is Chi and I have been doing some maths. Not maths. Married at First Sight Australia recaps. And I've just been having a lot of fun shooting some crap. We're just going to react to episode 10. This recap is called Timothy Spits the Dummy after Lucinda pushes him too far. Let's find out what's going on with those two. Okay, I've got a question for you. What is your intention on this experience? I suppose I've got to do, you know, the bending and the, the compromise and the, the dance. Now I'm getting pissed off. Lucinda, geez, her voice and the way she says dance, like, oh my gosh. Cut the crap, cut the drama, cut the bullshit stories and passionings of yesteryear and come back to your true, true. What is your intentions, Timothy? <laughs> what is he doing on this show? How did you apply? How did you end up on this show? You are the fish that is so far out of water. Dude, what are you doing on this show? Like, I do not understand. This is a <laughs> show. Guys being together is such a <laughs> show. Let's see our classic Gen X spit the dummy about being asked the same question over and over again by an elder millennial. Hilarious. That's exactly what Gen X people love. Now I'm getting pissed off. I give an answer and you just keep prodding and prodding and prodding. I'm getting pulled across the coals by this conversation, by John, and it's starting to shit me. Yep. So now I'm done. I'm actually done, done filming. I'm pissed off. I told you. I told you. I knew it. Like, I don't know how Timothy is still in the show. He is a grown ass Gen X. He doesn't want to talk about anything. He's a Gen X. He's pretending he doesn't have feelings. Like, and poor Lucinda, if she's trying to make the relationship work or she's trying to make the show work. I don't know what is actually on Lucinda's mind. But yeah, she got stuck with Timothy. And like, that's that's awful. That's that was a setup from the start. We're about to watch some more Tori and Jack drama. Let's find out what's going on there. It was a lot last night, it was a lot. It's a big topic. Yeah. And my thing is, I don't trust people easily, absolutely not. Growing up, my dad was not in the picture. So, yeah. And it hurts a lot because he knows I exist. And I think if he's not reaching out, it kind of says a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> I just need a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, like I always say, the best psychological thriller on Australian TV at the moment. They have literally locked this storyline from her trauma. They've set this whole thing up so they can use her trauma as a storyline. See, this is why you shouldn't be trusting in dudes like you do. You need some more women around you. Should not be trusting anything that Jack is saying to you. He's so full of it. Girl, uh, jump in bed with Lauren and get some wine and some cheese and talk it out. Like, I can't believe this. This is so sad. I want love to feel like just an unconditional union. Oh yeah, like there's just, it's completely unconditional. You don't have that with Jack. You do not have that with Jack. I'm trustworthy. They've matched us for a reason. Yeah, I'm gonna be here every night you go to bed and I'll be here every morning when you wake up. I'm committed and so, yeah, I'm here for you. Oh yeah. my God, I'm trustworthy, lie. That is a straight up freaking lie because you've proven yourself not to be trustworthy. You tried to gaslight the experts. You tried to gaslight everybody there. Lied to that poor girl that you were dating on the outside. You've been engaged before. You are not trustworthy. And he's all like, I'm going to be here every night. I'm going to do the actual bare minimum in a relationship. I'm going to be here. I will be here until I find a better opportunity. Let's face it, Jack, that's the facts. 
so I hate this guy. Ratty Jack. I felt bad about picking on his mouth and his giant teeth, but I don't feel bad anymore. He's a and hopefully I that gives that. you the confidence. Yeah, and I definitely do feel that. It's nice. Yeah. It's... <sighs> Tori, please tell me you're not this dumb. Oh, my God. You need more girlfriends and less of this ridiculous dude. Anyways, let's get back to Timothy squawking on. Maybe come to bed with a shirt on. You know, that was a bit rude to him throughout this experience. Yeah, no. He's only worn his undies. And I experience. <laughs> oh my god, Lucinda, you so oh my god. That was rude of Timothy to say. Comes to bed without a shirt on, and now she's saying that he only goes to bed with his undies on. And why are we having this argument? <laughs> oh my god. Dance. And I've been, like, in full pyjamas. Pyjamas. So um, if he doesn't like me with my top off, absolutely. But you do the same. It sounds like you've asked me to pop my shirt on, which I'm very happy to do respectfully. Yep. And I ask the same of you. Fair enough. Goes both ways. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, same stuff. Yeah. You've got boobs as well. <laughs> Wow. She just pissed. She just pissed in my cornflakes. What was that? She just pissed in my cornflakes. Was that not the best argument that you've ever seen on Australian TV or what? You've got boobs as well. Well, that was freaking hilarious. That was so good. And um, <laughs> she just pissed in his cornflakes. That's a good little bit of Australian slang for you right there. Listen to poor darling. This poor girl trying to make this work with this dude that did not know what he was getting himself in for and probably wants to leave and is now just going to be a real right shit of a person to be around. All right, so that is that for this video. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chi. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you later, mate.